um, the, the goat scene. Is, are we doing the goat scene? Yeah, yeah, we've got to do the goat scene. Alright. We have to do the goat scene. No, we have to! You don't yeah, understand the goat look, look, is so the sorry. point I know, of I this know. play! Right, yeah. What don't you understand about this, Aaron? For fuck's sake! Well, I would say that <laughs> if you're a bald man with a wispy beard, you don't have a lot going for you, you know? There's got to be a certain point where you look in the mirror and you go, I'm pretty sure that my existence on this planet is not really worthy of anything at all. Um, unless, of course, I can fool people into believing that I have a great imagination. And I suppose one of the best ways you can do this is to try and write a clever play. Um, I can't actually speak for Ho Chi Minh because I've never met the guy, but as for Shakespeare... What about How many times do I have to explain this to you? No one ever fucking listens to me, it's like I don't have any kind of good ideas or something. You know, and you know that it's true. You see, as a production manager, it's the only job where at the end of the day, you can say, I really don't know about that purple. There is no other position where, excuse me, um, There is no other position where colour plays such an important part in holding your job together and in keeping No, actually anything involved in visual design would have more to do with the colour. Aaron is he, he can be a good production manager at times, but at the end of the day he's a raving lunatic. Now what I'd also like to do, just to conclude what we've been been talking about is if you look over here at our record collection, um, the works of Robert Schumann and Titus. This is this is Schumann's Rheinische Symphony. It's very nice. Now we're talking solemn. Did you get that? Mm -hmm. Fantastic, excellent. So um, when we talk about the music of Schumann and Titus, uh, Schumann Schumann, and I know this categorically was a huge fan of Shakespeare and General Tyson in particular. And really, the way that Schumann relates to the theme of rebirth, cycle of rebirth, themes of family and revenge, is coloured with purple. And there comes a point where in the great spectrum of, of dramatic narrative, Within this spectrum, you have red for passion, orange, yellow, blue, green, they don't matter, they don't mean anything. But you get right back around to violet, or as it were, purple. It's all about revenge. Passion. Well, basically, uh, obviously, it's a Shakespeare play, so what it's about from my point of view, is large general washes covering the entire set. The great thing about Shakespeare is that really you you never have less than, say, five people on stage. Unless it's a soliloquy. But they're pretty easy to light too, lots of drop shadows. It's very moody, it's very effective. But mostly the play Titus and Dronicus is about a lot of people on stage under a general wash. Yes. My profession involves a lot of pointy, sharp objects. And there's always some way to, you know, do damage to actors. Give what the fuck is this shit, bits. man? Like, seriously? And the heat is I like that. Life. It's fucking stupid! Like, who is this guy? Like, seriously, this is fucking crap, man. Like, he pulled this out of his ass or something? I can't work with that! God, you can! You know, he's got red hair! First time I read the play, in terms of sets, the real image that stuck in my mind was cardboard boxes. Anyone who's seen a play knows that they have like backdrop and like a stage. You just don't see that many cardboard boxes. Mm. And boxes are cheap. Um, I think, you know, if there's a possibility that maybe someone said, Come on, come on, Willie, Willie boy. I do remember they did call him Willie boy. That was very much a thing, particularly Thomas Kemp. Thomas Kemp 
the the clown. He was sort of if you were if you if you like. I mean, maybe compare to maybe Jim Carrey, like the Elizabeth and Jim Carrey, Robert Kemp. He said, "Willie boy, we'll give you a hand. We'll start writing a play." And they they're just writing along something about you know emperors vying for the empress of Rome, and they were taking it quite seriously. And they they they're, they're saying, "Look." We can make this a very powerful political drama. And then they get to the bit where the daughters run off with Bassianus. And Shakespeare has said, I want to start running now! Stab! Look at that. Well, no, that, that's interesting, you see, because uh, obviously back in Shakespeare's day, they didn't have electric lighting. I mean, back then they didn't even have uh, limelight. Now, I mean, general, this leads a lot of people to comment that perhaps... Shakespeare, when we do it now with lighting, we should try to sort of go back to the basics, we should try to have simple... But I think if Shakespeare had had strobe lights, he would use them. And I maintain that Shakespeare can only be improved through the use of strobe lights. This is an example of actors' behaviour on stage. Now, I'd just like you to observe here what a little bit of lighting brings to this situation. You see that? You see the elongated circles that the, the actor's now travelling in? Look at the possibilities. I mean, you, you've got your... See, this is the sort of... This is very difficult lighting for us to achieve this sort of lighting from beneath. Now, look at the moods. Look at the moods. Now, is there anything that screams Shakespearean tragedy like lighting from this angle? The play's really a story about a man and his goat. It just comes out like that. That's, you know, I mean, have you read the play? It's like there's a goat in every scene. There's a man in maybe two of them. Mostly about the goat. Well, we've got one fucking goat, okay? Yeah, but... All that one fucking goat you, see, needs no. is a rope around Look, its fucking Ronya, neck. Actors, and then we can actors, pull it actors, wherever we need it. Actors are skittish. The goat only has to butt one of them. They'll panic. <laughs> No, 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 I've thought about this. Panicking actors will not it's stay in their lives. It's when its horns in bubble No. Up. It's not going to really pose any kind of threat to anybody. Well, and what? You get, so you're just going to have light reflecting madly off the bubble wrap. And they're I actors. Have a nice they're point. actors. You'll have the goat stand there all through the play. All you hear will be... Oh. Oh. Can I just get a Right, um, so now that we've um, managed to start, 